It is the bass player and welcome back to Land Silence. Let's dive right into the door. Into a new cave. And this game has really great dungeon crawling. And in the last episodes we have been unlocking this dungeon. And in this episode hopefully we will finish it. But it will be quite difficult as we can imagine. As you can see, there are lots of different places to discover, actually. Let me also uh, get the torch out. I'm just trying to figure out where we can gather some stuff. All right, that's good. Oop. Oop. Let's be super careful. Oh, I think... We are doing not bad, not bad actually. You see the health is getting low, but let's eat some stuff so that we won't die. But then there are hidden places like this, which I really enjoy, that you can collect coins around from the surroundings. And yeah, this is fulfilling, so to say. All right, we still have 23 coal to spend that's great that was a nice combo wow okay that was also nice all right let's get this bonfire up so that our health will go up as you can see in the last episode we get our health a bit higher with the provided skills so let me show you that skill point three so we still have one skill point but then we need either two or three skill points or four skill points to unlock others and i think we will unlock the precision now to get more critical hits or we can get the heavy strike or base damage increase Full belly, yeah, it's fine. We have lots of stuff to eat, so I'm not really worried about that. Oh, three more coins from this region. All right. Yeah, despite being an early access game, I think they have really good game mechanics that when you start playing, it's just a lot of fun to continue exploring the surroundings and... I really like the idea of having islands, so the name suggests as well, Lens Island. So you have tons of different islands and you can explore all of them in whatever order you like. But then the game is leading you towards the dungeons and when you explore the dungeons, it's always fun. And you can collect a lot of stuff. Also, you see we have a backpack. In the last episode, we bought this backpack for, I think... Oh my goodness, these are really terrible monsters. With some type of rifle or ammo. Okay, wait. Let me get the pickaxe. Okay, that is cool. We can collect these stones. And let's get this bonfire up as well so that when we need to heal up, we, we can come here. Okay, that was a good one. Oh, lots of coal. That's sweet. And I'm lighting everything up while we don't need anything now oh, let me actually yeah get this chest open level up perfect perfect okay so now we have i think two skill points yeah and we can either improve resourceful resource gathering damage or precision i think precision we can get because critical hit can be nice as well also we can unlock the mega crit in the end Ah, oh, 
three more coins. Yeah, it's nice to explore the surroundings as you can see from time to time we are getting some. Oh shit, we didn't die, we didn't die, don't worry. Don't worry about it. Uh, there is something that... Okay. That is not gone yet. Okay. Yeah, our sword is a really strong one. We crafted it recently in the last episode and I think that's why these monsters are easy but then the big ones are the most troublesome ones. Also, I think we need to just destroy the resource first. Wow, okay. They are a lot, but then we killed many. That's good. And we destroy their nests so that they cannot reappear. That's the most important thing. Can we collect anything here? No. Okay. Ah, I think there is something inside. No. Okay, it's an empty one. Okay, let me get this light stood up as well. Lit up. And more scraps. That's always welcome. And what else we have? Mushrooms. Ah, finally some iron shards. That are also quite useful when crafting new equipment, new weapons. And upgrading your weapons, it's quite important. Yeah, there are some coal as well, let's collect them because it's just not taking that long to collect. And it's useful, it's useful to light up the surrounding torches and bonfires. And also it's good for crafting probably. We haven't... Ah, yeah, with the smelter we need to... We need to call. Okay, I see some animal here. Oh, I didn't open the door. That was weird. Wow, lots of coins we have collected. That's a good place. And I feel like there can be something. Oh, wait. Repair with 50 stones. That is sweet. That is sweet. Let me explore this part a bit. Oh, did we already do this? Oh, no. There are some coins here. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Also, I think they put this for a reason here. If I'm not mistaken. Okay, we can go up. And... No, nothing. Okay. I thought there can be something up there. Let's go upstairs. Oh, wait. What the hell is this? This is it? Okay, nothing. Oppa, that was a booby trap. And here we go. <laughs> we will definitely die this time. Okay, not bad, actually. Wow, Forge Shield. Wow, okay. I will take it. I think we did well, by the way. I was eating the passion fruit, I think. That is it. Grab to equip. Oh, nice. Wow. But then it's slowing us down, right? Oh, wait, well. Uh, yes. I guess so. Yeah. When we have the shield at hand, I think it's slowing us down. Movement speed 0.6x. But active blocking is 80% and armor is 35%. So, that's quite a nice one. Oh my god. Yeah, whenever we encounter some heavy attack, I think it's best to get the shield at hand. Oh. Well, okay. We repaired another thing. Okay, before we go up though, I would like to explore this part. 
Or maybe should we directly go up? Because I think... Okay, let's see where we are going. I haven't seen anything like this before, so maybe this is another exit that we have found. That we can go home and come back later on. Oh well, uh, <laughs> not a safe place though. Wow, okay. This is like a different place to explore. It's not part of the dungeon, but I think there is only... It is only reachable by the dungeon, I guess. I will check the map right after I kill all of these guys. So we are here. Hmm. Maybe we can reach it without the dungeons, I'm not sure. Oh. What the hell? Okay, there are some stairs that you can go upstairs. But nothing to collect. <laughs> okay, then this is another entrance for the dungeons probably. So when we enter here, yeah, we will go right into the dungeon. Okay, let's finish the dungeon though. Ah, uh, yes, here we are back to business, back to killing monsters. Some more bonfire so that we don't need it yet. But whenever our health goes low, we can step back and... Hmm, I think we will go that direction, so let me... Quickly check these houses. No coins whatsoever. Okay. Also, there is nothing. Oh, some more coal. I will take it. Some more animals on that way. Ooh, that was <laughs> that was a terrible mistake that I did. But yeah, thanks to the shield, we didn't receive that much damage. So that was a good usage of the shield. Nothing here. I feel like we've been... Yeah, okay, I checked this place already. Okay, there is nothing other than a few more scrap mechanics. Okay, are we going really this way? There was another way as well, so... Okay, that time I killed them super quickly. They didn't have any chance to shoot. Okay, let's go inside. No coins. Let's knock this down. Let's light this up. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, I see you. Okay, that was a clear kill. Ah, I accidentally found five coins though. Okay, this is a really big place. And also, ah, okay. I thought these stairs go to somewhere else, but all right. The only way to move forward is going down from here, I believe. Yeah. Let's light this one up as well, and yeah, let's... Chests are always welcome. Free stuff, we love it. Let me know in the comments what you think about this game. This is an early access game, so uh, just don't be so cruel about it. I think with 
a lot of updates will come in time and this game will turn into a masterpiece, I believe. Because in this current state, I, I really enjoy it as well. As you can see, they have a really cool elements that the game mechanics are not really difficult. But at the same time, it's interesting enough to keep you intrigued and keep you exploring. I think with a few additions, with some patches, with the full game arrival, it will turn into a nice, a very, very nice game. So if you enjoy it, just leave a like so that I can also see that you enjoy it. All right, let me quickly go to upstairs. Nothing there. And light the bonfire before we get... Oh my god, let's get the sword at hand. And also let's destroy these nests before they can touch us. Okay, let's eat something at the same time. Wow, okay, that was a terrible, terrible shot from that guy. Okay, I think we did well. Yeah, we still have decent health and some more mushrooms. Let me quickly get these coal and iron shards mined as well. And if you have any game suggestions or anything to discuss, just don't forget to join the Discord channel, Discord server and just start chatting with me or I will just respond to your comments here if you don't use discord or don't want to get into another server as well all right I think this is the last one yeah let's continue to the final battle of this dungeon we are coming close and I'm curious if there are more monsters, more dangerous ones. Wow, plus 10. We are getting super rich. Okay, let me light this up. Oh, nice, 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 nice. 133 coins in total. Okay, let's continue. I think, I feel like we will go this way. Yeah, there is the bonfire. Okay, if we go down, that is the last place. So let's get the health up. Also, there was one, one final little spot that we haven't explored on the right side just here. Let me also check this house out and also light this. Okay, nothing. All right, all right, all right, all right. Final battle, are you ready? To clear out this dungeon. Let's get the health full. Also, let me eat uh, some blueberries so that the hunger level is not that low as well then in the battle hmm maybe we can eat grapes okay we are ready shield at hand the forged shield and let's go watch your step oh well new monsters Whoa. We are doing fine. We are doing fine. Let's eat some grapes. I think there are lots of traps on the floor. Oh well. Oh shit, yeah. I stepped on one. 
I think. Oof. I think the big trouble is gone. We only have the small guys now. Are we done? Okay. Seems like it and feels like it. Okay, we will go this way. But first, let me check if I'm missing anything here. Oh! There is another path here. Or maybe... Oh, shoot. Void boar. Okay, another... Another enemy. Oh, holy shoot. This is... Okay, this is a big one. Wow, 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 wow. Let's focus on avoiding the attacks. Oh, oh shit. 25 damages. Wow. Okay, two attacks. <laughs> Even one attack is really, really, really difficult. Oh, nice. Holy shit. Oh yes. I think I get the gist of it. Oh my god. What the hell? I need to jump. I need to jump probably. Okay, let's get the torch at hand. Holy shit. Okay, yeah. I think jumping is the key there. Okay, 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 okay. Wow. This is nice. This is the first boss battle that we had. Oof. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm dying. He's dying as well. Okay, let's see. Last. Last one. Oh yes! Iron Vault Bar Totem unlocked. What the hell is that? There are tons of chests around and I think that was a pretty cool boss fight. Wow. If you also enjoyed it, just like the video and let me know in the comments what you think about the first boss fight we had. Wow. That was a tough one. That was a tough one. I'm glad that we have uh, the sword. I think this is the this is going outside, right? Yeah, 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 probably. Okay, let me first explore the other the other sides. The one bridge that we repaired just a second ago on this side. Oh, it's still shooting. I thought it will not shoot after the bosses are dead. Okay. And this one... Is this... Oh, okay. Okay, this is going upstairs, back. I thought this was a new region, so this is like a shortcut to the previous area okay that's why I wanted to come but wasn't necessary apparently okay not step on those terrible things what is that nothing I thought it's a uh, collectible ok 
Okay, what do we get after this boss fight then? Here we go. Wow. Three diamonds? And some co some coins we had. That was a cool dungeon. Alright, let me see. Whoa, whoa. What the hell is going on? There, <laughs> there is no rest to these monsters anymore. The game is getting more and more disturbing and difficult. Yeah, I wonder if the more difficult setting is not yet available, but when it's available, will it be super, super difficult? Because in this current stage, I don't think it's an easy game. So we'll see how they implement the hardcore mode. And also, let me check what else we can craft. Iron Void Bar Totem, a rare golden statue obtained by defeating the Void Boar. Okay, that's cool. Some furnitures. We have seven <laughs> skill points though. Unburdened, reduced shield weight by 50%. This is a nice one. And extended belt can be nice. Keep sack, keep backpack inventory on death. 25% ch uh, chance. Yeah, this is also good. But it requires 8 uh, skill points. Vitality is also important, but... First, let's get the hot bars, the extended belts, so that we can use more items at the bottom. And also shield will not slow us down as much now. As you can see, it's just slowing us down a bit, but it's 50% reduced. And also with the three skill points remaining, I will get the heavy strike. So that next we can get the cleavage. And this is our temporary spots, temporary bed. But you can see a new dungeon is unlocked. And to unlock that, we need to travel by this boat. But thank you for joining me in today's adventure. We will continue this journey in the next episode. Just click on the video on your screen right now and I'll meet you there. Have a great one.